what's going on everybody welcome again to my youtube channel so in today's video i want to take you all the way to the Ngong train station from a place called vet this is a long gong road and in this particular video i will be driving along kangawa road now for you to get to Ngong train station remember it's going to take you 15 minutes to get to the Ngong train station this is from the vet because it's a 2.1 kilometer and remember the speed you are going to do you are going to do a 15 kilometer per hour and less because this road it's so busy it's still you like you're driving within homes within residential homes so you really have to be pretty careful now along this road you can see it is not tarmacked it is still maram road so you can be so sure of the dust in my previous video there's a, a road i wanted to use that road but i realized somewhere ahead it has been closed i think they're doing a bit of renovation but now that road it's not going to go all the way to the Ngong train station you know uh, being tarmacked it's just somewhere above it and then you are back to the maram road so as we drive you can realize the place it's still you know developing people are still putting up homes for residential apartments now now to get to gong from town you can either use a public service vehicle or you can use um a train from town that will take you through ongatarongai to ngong and i think you're going to pay a hundred kenya shillings but personally i don't feel it's going to be safe or rather it's safe considering the time the train leaves town in the evening and i'm trying to imagine by the time you are getting to ngong train station that time it's a bit late now you have to walk for 2.1 kilometers for you to get to the vet to the vet market do i call it a market or what uh, you know to ngong road so if you are this person who stays in Gong Town, you have to again board a Matatu all the way to Gong Town. Remember the Ngong train station, it's in Kajado County and uh, from Nairobi CBD all the way to Ngong, it is uh, 25 kilometers. Yeah, and the best thing about this place, it's a straight lo it's a straight road. If somebody has to direct you to come to Ngong, you know, it's not like they're going to direct you, go left, right, straight, left, right, no, no. The moment you get to Ngong Road, it's straight all the way to town. And then the best thing about Ngong, you know, you can be so sure about the Matatus or rather the public service vehicles that do ply along this road. Most of them... You know, we got some notorious matatus that get to a specific place and then they have to sell you. Yeah, they have to make a turn back to Nairobi and then they have to give you into another matatu. That is what we call selling you into another matatu. So, most of the time with Ngong matatus, you can be so sure you can get into one from the CBD and it's going to take you all the way to Ngong town. Yeah, so Ngong matatus are more reliable when it comes to transport. And then within Ngong town itself, when it comes to accommodation, you're going to find, you know, houses from low cost to more expensive you can actually get a one bedroom house at uh, 10000 kenya shillings and at the same time you can get a three bedroom house at uh, 40000 kenya shillings so remember ngong itself is still developing and that is why if you have to drive within ngong you're going to realize there's a lot of construction that is happening and uh, when you exit the main road realize most of these roads are not you know they're still maram it's a bit dusty because of the construction that is happening within, you know, 
uh, this region. And then another thing I have come to note about Ngong. If you are someone who does the online stuff, Ngong might not be good for you because the network itself is poor and then uh, the internet, the Wi-Fi providers I have seen some, you know, they're now coming into Ngong, but I can assure you they have not covered the, in, uh, the you know, most of the place. So when it comes to internet-wise, the network-wise, there's, there's still a challenge in this region. And then when it comes to weather, remember in my previous videos, you have done a few videos about Ngong. You know, I'm telling you this story as we drive towards the Gong train station. When it comes to weather, Gong can be too cold. Remember my most recent videos, I showed you a place called Konabaridi. That is, do I call it the end or the beginning of Gong Road? No, sorry, the beginning of Gong Hills. Yeah, that place, it's too cold. In fact, the reason why you've seen I haven't posted a video, it's because after coming from that place, I felt like I was sick. Actually, I was sick because that too much wind, you know, it's like some wind is just lapping you in your face. Yeah, it was a bit, it can be a bit cold, not even a bit. It can be cold in Gong. And at the same time, when it's hot, it can be too hot to feel like the sun. It's just below. So I don't know whether there's something I have missed out, you know, in my story as we drive towards the Ngong train station. Remember the Ngong train station, they do offer services also. And anyway, I'm not paid for this. I'm just giving you the info about it. You can actually take a ride to Sufswa and back that is on friday saturday and sunday yeah. i'm not sure if they've introduced more trains between monday tuesday wednesday and thursday i'm not so sure about that but i'm so sure about the friday saturday and sunday yeah you can take a train to suswa and back you can board your train from you know cbd the railway station in Nairobi, you can board it at uh, Rongai. You can still board it at Ngong. And remember, if you are driving, you can still drive to that train station. Leave your car there if you are going to Suswa and back. Yeah, you can drive, leave your car at Ngong train station, get into a train to Suswa and then back. Now, what I realized about Suswa, you know, the place is also still developing, so uh, there's nothing much. It's just about nature, you know, if you are that person who loves nature to travel, yeah, you can just take that train to that place. It will cost you 100 Kenya shillings to that place and then back to Nairobi, or rather back to Ngong, get into your car and drive back home so that is it for today i hope now you know if you are long gong road and, and if you want to get to the ngong train station just get to a place called vet vet is actually after a place called Mbulbul, which is in karen you get to vet or juanko and then if you are driving from the nairobi direction the train station is on your left. And if you're going towards Nairobi from Gong Town, the train station exit will be on your right. So guys, the Gong train station is right ahead. If you want to see how it looks like, you can go back to my videos or rather I'm going to leave a link at the top of these videos so that you'll be able to see how the Ngong's train station looks like because today I'm not going to get inside. Um, I just wanted to show you how it looks like to drive, to walk from the main road, Ngong Road, all the way to that place. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. If this is your first time, remember to subscribe, like, and also share my videos. See you in the next. Bye for now. <music>